To calibrate the cyclone, first be sure the pumps are charged. If the pumps have not been charged within the past 48 hours, you must recharge the pumps for 6 to 8 hours prior to sampling. For pump charging instructions, see the Galson unpacking video. Next, verify the pump flow rates in an area where you are not exposing the media and equipment to the contaminant, like an office setting. All pumps have the lab calibration information on the field pump data sheets provided. Start the pumps so they can be warming up. They need to run at least three minutes before you begin the calibration. Remove the shipping spacer from the cyclone and then remove both colored nibs from each end of the cassette. Do not remove the red grit pop part of the cyclone. Remove the top piece of the cassette using a cassette opener or a coin. Insert the cyclone in the cassette. The black O-ring will secure it in place. Place the attached filter cyclone in the cyclone holder, inserting the cyclone side pin into the notch in the filter cassette holder. Then attach the tubing from the pump. Slip the aluminum calibration chamber over the bottom portion of the cyclone and you are ready for calibration. The order of the components for calibration is pump, tubing, filter cyclone with the calibration chamber in place, and rotometer. With everything sitting on a level flat surface, check the ball float in the rotometer. Be sure to take your rotometer reading at eye level and use the center of the float for the value. The flow must be reading 2.5 LPM. If you need to adjust the flow, use the set screw on the pump. After you are satisfied with the flow rate, record the value on the field pump data sheet. Remove the calibration cassette and mark it for use in the post calibration. Remember, a field blank should be collected for each sample set and should accompany the monitor during all periods except actual sampling. For more detailed information, watch the Galson Field Blanks instructional video. Remove the cassette and the cyclone from the cassette holder and reassemble the cassette with the top of the filter holder to preserve the sample. Wipe off any dust accumulated on the cyclone prior to shipment back to the laboratory. Reinstall the nibs on each end of the cassettes and place the cassettes in the Ziploc bag for shipment to Galson Laboratories. After completing the sample, a post calibration must be performed on the pump. Perform the post calibration the same way you did the pre calibration, using the marked calibration cassette, but do not make any adjustments. Just record the flow rate on the pump calibration sheet. The pre and post rates should be within 10% of each other. If they are, average the flow rates to determine the flow rate to be used to calculate the air volume. All rotometers are calibrated against a primary standard quarterly. This calibration formula is located on the side of the field rotometer. Take the average rotometer reading and plug it into the calibration formula found on the side of the rotometer to determine your actual flow rate. Multiply the flow rate, LPM, by the total time sampled in minutes to get the air volume in liters. Record the total liters on the field data sheets and the chain of custody. If the post sampling rates are not within 10%, OSHA considers the samples screening samples, and if the analytical results show high levels, resampling is recommended. Then, complete the chain of custody form. It is important that you include all the information requested in order to ensure the turnaround time of your samples. Remove the pink copy and keep this for your records. Send the white and yellow copies in with the samples to the lab in the large Ziploc bag. Please place any unused media inside the Ziploc bag, marked with the orange unused media label. This will indicate that these items should not be analyzed and will be properly disposed of by Galson Laboratories. Questions? Contact SGS Galson by phone or IH live chat.